All right, guys, real quick, I've been working on the house till too late. I should have been out in the woods about two hours ago, but um, there are some deer here, a lot of does, and uh, I'm still trying to kill one with my traditional bow. So this is an ongoing saga. I'm going to kill one eventually, but i uh, going to get dressed real quick and then uh, jump in the tree stand. Might take one of my lone wolves down in the woods and, uh, near the pond that I built and um, hopefully stick a doe tonight. Uh, if a big buck comes along, I'm shooting it too.
holy smokes. I just shot and made a good shot on a big doe over top of the pond that I built. <laughs> That's about as cool as it gets. There's not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of, uh, openings here to shoot from through, but she happened to step right in the one that I needed for her. Dude, that is awesome. I've been bow hunting with the traditional bow for a long time, but, uh, I, you know, filming and, filming and shooting and everything, it's, uh, can get pretty tough. I had a rough year last year, late season, shot over top of a bunch of them, so on this one here, you know, granted she was only 15 yards, but, uh, oh man, I'm shaking. That's like killing a big buck right there. That's, that is awesome. But, uh, working all day. There you go. Working all day and, uh, decided to come out tonight and try to kill one of these does that has been coming up and down, um, through the, past my pond, so... <laughs> I think I just got it done. There you go, guys. Anybody out there that shoots traditional, just keep trying. You know, it's tough, but uh, eventually the right situation will present itself. All right, guys. Well, we're back to the scene of the crime. I say we because my wife, Lisa, showed up to help me uh, film and recover this doe. Uh, this is where I shot her, right here, uh, right beside the pond. And um, uh, we're going to pick up the blood trail, and uh, hopefully she didn't go that far. Uh, you know, Sunday night, got to get to work early in the morning, so I'd make it a lot easier if she's around 100 yards or less. So uh, let's find some blood. I thought I seen some right here earlier. Like right on impact, there's already blood. Yep, right here. There's some blood there. Blood right there. We had pretty good blood this whole way. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't an exit. It looked like uh, looked like I hit the opposite shoulder, but I did make a good shot. Had lung blood and everything, but I'm trailing here, and uh, I look up, I can see a luminoc at about uh, 40 yards through the woods. So that's uh, we're just gonna head there uh, and uh, hopefully get our hands on her. Unless the luminoc jumps up and takes off. <laughs> just got to her here. She's still warm. She only went about ah, maybe 110 yards, which is awesome. Um, I would say I definitely got lungs on her. She's got blood coming out of her mouth, uh, bubbles and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put a landowner's tag on her right away. Like I said, I shot her on my property. She died on my property. So let's go ahead and set this bow down and uh, make this tag out. All right, well, we got her set up here, and uh, just a big, big, beautiful doe. And uh, couldn't be happier. My first doe on the ground, on film with the traditional bow. Now, I've killed a couple with the traditional bow in the last couple years, but uh, this is the first one on film. So, a uh, big trophy for me, that's for sure. Um, working on my house all day, and happened to have about an hour and a half left of daylight. Grabbed the lone wolves, went down to a pond that I actually built, and uh, put some heartland around it and had a little buck come in. He pushed some does off actually. And um, he drank at the pond and then was sitting there eating on stuff. And not too long after that, here comes some does. And uh, thankfully she stopped in a nice little window and I was able to make a good shot. She went about 110 yards and um, piled up. So thankfully I was able to see the Luminoc. We had good blood the whole way, but uh, I seen the Luminoc at about 40 yards and went straight to her. So 
I'm gonna get her gutted and get her uh, get her to the butcher. But uh, you know, the last couple days have been really, really exciting. Um, the bucks are starting to cruise. As a matter of fact, me and my wife have passed up pretty good deer this year already. I passed up a nice 10 point. I think he's a three year old, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't shoot him. Also, it was pretty windy. And uh, then my wife uh, passed up a really nice, uh, about 120, 125 inch deer out of a different set. So uh, the bucks are cruising, like I said. It's gonna get exciting here in the next couple weeks. So hopefully I'll be sitting behind a big buck before too long. But uh, right now I'm enjoying this trophy and the accomplishment and the time and the work and effort and practice that I put in uh, to try to kill one with the traditional bow. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay safe, bow hunter die. Paul can definitely grow a beard. I mean, there's no, I mean, Paul is, Paul is looking good. Dude, he Mine's is. Mine's not looking that good. He is full fledged Grizzly Adams. Yeah. Hey, you know. Just don't tell him he looks. Oh, uh, no, I can't. I can't. I won't say that. He's not looking the most wanted. No. <laughs> um, hey, what a great hunt. I mean, you know, I know he has had a goal for a while to get one with his trad bow. He got out there, he pulled it off. But yeah. again, just like to Tommy's point with hard work again. I don't know. I really get into, you know, I think it's cool. You know, he's in there with his machine. He, I don't know if he rented that or if he owns that excavator or what, but he dug that little water hole. I mean, that's cool stuff. I think it's awesome. Yeah, and I think I could tell by Paul's reaction that I think shooting a deer over his pond on his own property probably meant deal. just as much to him as shooting one with his traditional uh, equipment. But I got to say, man, he made a freaking perfect shot <laughs> on that deer. I mean, that was <laughs> awesome. Did. Uh, perfect shot, great over-the-shoulder footage, good recovery. Uh, everything about that hunt was, was textbook. So congratulations to Paul. Now, unfortunately, his season hasn't gone the best no, after that. Which is back to his uh, <laughs> Went compound Went back to the bowling. compound. Uh -oh. and, yeah, we had a little whoopsie the other day. Uh, hopefully, we'll be bringing you guys that footage here before too long. But for the immediate time being, congrats to Paul on a, on a fine kill with the traditional archery equipment. Definitely. Guys, next up we're gonna get updates from a couple other team members who have been out hunting hard, so let's take a look at those now. Good morning, it's October 21st. I'm finally getting to hunt. I had to work Saturday yesterday. Uh, stayed late, got all my work done. That way I didn't have to go back today because I wanted to be out in the woods. It's in the low 30s. We had a little bit of a frost last night. These leaves are gonna be raining off these trees next week after that frost. Um, in the same tree that I killed my doe last season and uh, really looking forward to the morning. It's, uh, we had 45 mile an hour winds yesterday and this morning it's dead calm. So I'm hunting a transition line between a couple thickets. Uh, so I got a real distinguished trail down in front of me, actually where I killed the doe last year. So let's get this camera off and start getting serious.
this is unreal. I know that buck. I've got game camera pictures of him. I always thought maybe he was a borderline, but man, when he come in, he's got a big old body. Still not 100% sure if I'm gonna shoot him. He's been within 20 yards twice. One time, I could have shot him easily, but I could not see him with the camera. I had leaves between me and him. Probably a good thing, but uh, he's out here chasing does right now. Unreal. Well, good morning. It is a frosty morning. It's about 25 degrees. Towards the end of October right now, and the rut's just starting to kick in a little bit here. Um, we had a small buck, probably about 10, 15 minutes ago. He come running through, um, come out of some corn. I think he's pushed out by a pheasant hunter or something like that. He come out of some corn, um, come through, give me about 15 yards from me, um, pass down through. I'm hunting a funnel of willows that butts up there, some private land to my north, where they just started combining some of that corn. and. Uh, I got more of the bedding here to the south. I'm just in a corridor, simple corridor in between the food source and the bedding. And there's a lot of does and bedding here. So as a rut kicks in, what I'm doing is basically what this buck may have been doing if he wasn't bumped. He come through pretty quick, but it's a lot of times a cross trail. So I have all these trails running north and south going from the bedding to the feed and vice versa. These bucks will do is they'll travel east and west. I'm cutting across all those trails, scent checking, looking for hot dough. So that's what I like to do at this time of the year. Um, as that rut starts kicking, I like to try and catch them cross trailing. But at the same time, I like to be as close to the bedding as I can possibly get. So bedding is maybe 100 yards tops in front of me. We'll sit tight. So far, so good. One buck. everybody a safe hunting season good luck ruts right around the corner just gonna stick with it you know Justin I know the public land thing is hot and you know Josh has always worked hard on this public land and I'll tell you what he generally pulls it off and he does yeah I mean it's been slow going for Josh you know so far this year you know deer sightings have been down for him yeah uh, but that's just part of the game and I think that's why for the guys that do public land like it's so much more rewarding when you do finally get a nice animal and I know Josh is hard at it 
Uh, him and Dan are both the type of people that have like, it seems like insane Dude, they, amount of vacation time. So they just took off luck. like weeks on end to go hunting. And they both seem to pull it off every single year. I mean, these guys yes. are fan favorites. I mean, they've been with us for a long time. And I mean, Dan somehow always comes up with a creative way of killing his buck. Josh, I mean, how successful he was on his elk hunt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, he shot a great bow on public land with his elk hunt this year. So that's cool. So these two guys are going to be sending us in some footage here in the future quickly. I know it. I can feel it. But will that footage contain them shooting a deer? Is that the question? Who are you putting your money in first? Make it quick. Josh or Dan? They're going to let us go. Sorry, Josh. I'm going with Dan. Oh. I'm going with Dan. All right. I was going to pick Dan, too. Sorry, oh, Josh. We both <laughs> picked Dan. <laughs> Sorry, Fletch. He's going to kill us for sure. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. That's all we've got for this episode of Bowhunter Die. Uh, be on the lookout for Friday morning show coming at you here in a day or two. Uh, Dustin shoots a big one before me. They were, people were asking about that. Who was? A lot. I saw it. I don't know. Somewhere on YouTube. <laughs> no, I saw it. That somebody was somewhere. posting questions about who's going to get one first, me or you. Or I'd let you go first. So we've got an exciting episode coming up for you on Friday morning, guys. Don't miss out. As always, thanks for watching. Bowhunter Die. For more exciting action, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and receive live updates from our team members as well as the latest happenings in the bow hunting and archery world. Be sure to share your photos, stories, and experiences as well. And don't forget to pick up your official bowhunting.com and bowhunter die gear by visiting bowhunting.com forward slash gear. We have a full selection of hats, shirts, decals, wristbands, and much more. Action. <laughs> you starting this one? I'm right there. You can start. Hmm? <clears throat> you can start it. All right. Rolling? You know, Josh, watching and talking, Josh. 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 I'm like, Josh. I'm thinking of Josh. I Take Josh. two. Take two. <clears throat> Action. When my neighbor and good friend feeds his dozen beagles, that's what it sounds like. Thanks, Harold. <laughs> I think they're hungry.